Hey guys, welcome back for some more general manager mode. I ended up setting up all those rivalries and so far the Ric Flair, uh, Rey Mysterio rivalry. I almost said Randy Orton for some reason, but, uh, that one is doing pretty good so far. So we ended up, there was a slight change plans in the original WWE champion rivalry. So I threw Mick Foley and Steve Austin together. Then we got Kelly Kelly and Michelle McCool and then our tag team rivalry. And I ended up changing it up too because I actually do have a better idea for CM Punk Taker, but I got to change one of them to Dirty because I totally forgot they're both clean superstars. If you are new to the channel, feel free to drop me a like and a sub. It helps me out and it helps this video and the channel out. And I totally forgot last time we did this, I did not even check the SmackDown and ECW ratings to see what made them better shows than mine. So I could already see that ECW picked up some of my created superstars since in the first match, Default picked up the victory against Steve. And then Mark Henry and composite Chris Jericho ended up picking up a victory. It looks like they're pretty much straightforward matches over here. That seems like a good main event. I don't know why it was better than my show. Maybe I'm just being like picky because I wanted me to win. But let's see how SmackDown did. They also had kind of a random cruiserweight match, but I don't know what Batista did to get beat up by Edge, Lashley, and Sabu. And then, alright, I totally understand why they ended up getting first place in the 100,000 because this right here is a legendary main event. We had Terry Funk pick up the victory over Melina, and The Rock was also there. So yeah, now that we've seen last week's results, so let's go ahead and book my show. I'm gonna start from the top to the bottom once again. So I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead, unlike real typical wrestling and TEW, you kinda just have to book the same guys in the same matches every week, which gets kinda old, but... That's how you get the ratings in this game. So we're gonna have Steve Austin face off against Mick Foley. I'm going to have a dirty clean turn. I think out of the two, it makes sense for CM Punk to turn. Match four, what I'm going to do, we're gonna make this kind of an interesting match. So we're gonna have the Undertaker working with, I guess, We'll have him work with CM Punk, and then they're gonna face off against... Alright, we're gonna go Matt Hardy and Mickey James because, like, I'm out of... I should maybe pick up another guy or two, but... Yeah, that's championship matches right there, and it kind of lines up with the whole match, like, on SmackDown. And I didn't even have to, like, choose the guys for this one. I just knew who I wanted for match three. So now for the first promo, I'm gonna do my money. And then match two, we're gonna have just another tag team match with the tag rivalry. So JTG and the Shad are gonna go ahead and face off against Johnny Nitro and Gregory Helms. So now who do I have left? We're gonna need... Oh, okay, hold on. Let me actually change that up a little, because rather than having Mickey James as the partner, we can have William Regal as the partner, which is kind of interesting because last week they fought each other, but now they're gonna be a team, and actually, too, I should change that one with this one, and then this one with... Nah, actually, they have the better popularity, so I'll leave that as is. And then the first match, I guess, is just going to be a tag team with the ladies. So we will have not Mick Foley. We will have Kelly Kelly and not Mickey James because I'm pretty sure she's the one that's dirty. So Kelly Kelly and Tori will face off against Mickey James and Michelle McCool. So there. Pretty good show, I think. I made it a little better since I didn't have, like, Matt Hardy and Mickey James as a team. 
But let's go ahead and we're gonna simulate this one and see what happens. So it looks like Michelle and Mickey pick up the victory. Another loss for Kelly and Tori, unfortunately. JTD and Chad pick up the victory, so that's pretty good because that makes them pretty even now. Undertaker and CM Punk ended up getting the win, which this is one of those that I probably should have actually played, but here's how the story will go. Basically, CM Punk betrayed Undertaker, so he still got the win by himself, but now they're going to be rivaling or in a rivalry with each other. Then Mysterio picks up the win against Ric Flair, but it was a non-title match, and McFoley picks up the win against Steve Austin. So now, since it is Tuesday and it is another ECW event, I think it makes sense if we go ahead and send one of our guys over there to cause hell. I'm gonna do William Regal, because he definitely needs the popularity boost, and there is his big popularity boost. And I'm thinking too, I'm just gonna keep doing events and activities rather than the training because it's not really gonna matter that much. Yeah, we'll do one more with William Regal. Might as well just boost him way up there. And then I'm also gonna wanna boost some of my top guys. So let's do a trophy date with CM Punk because he's kinda lacking in popularity. And then finally, since it is SmackDown, we're going to go ahead and do another brand invasion with Tori Wilson, because why the hell not? She got a pretty good success. So we do not have any new emails, but let's go ahead and see how we did this week. I'm hoping we got some fans. Mick Foley got the match of the week again. But of course, our friends over at SmackDown once again pick up the victory. So now we are definitely falling a lot farther behind. That is not good. How are the Power 25? It is still kind of the same. I don't think... All right, Rey Mysterio and Undertaker did move up, and I didn't even realize that ECW had DX. CM Punk's starting to move up a lot. Ric Flair fell a little bit, and Matt Hardy fell. So now we're going to probably want to just keep working on our popularities and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna actually to just see how they did before I forget this time. At least ECW seems to have pretty straightforward matches and then what about Smackdown? They actually booked the woman together in a match this week rather than Minus, they kind of took my idea in a way, because they were like, here, we're going to throw The Rock with Candice Michelle, and that's a great tag team. And then I don't know what it is with them and the, like, three-on-one matches. Maybe that's what I have to do in order to get good ratings on my show. So I think we're going to actually go ahead and just do one more week of Raw, because it is still pretty early in the episode, so... I think we're gonna take it up a notch and I'm gonna do table main event between Steve Austin and Mick Foley and it is going to be for the WWE Championship. Then promo number two, we're gonna go ahead and I guess let's go ahead and slander because that should hopefully gain me a couple fans. Then I think for this match, we're going to do elimination six-man tag team match. We're going to combine the Shad and JTG with the Intercontinental Championship. Maybe that will get a good rating. And we're going to need Rey Mysterio over on their side. I'm thinking, yeah, we could leave that as match four. Although, you know what, no, actually, I'm going to move that to match three, because for match four, I want our first match between Undertaker and CM Punk. Then for promo one, I'm going to go ahead and get me some more money. Match two, I'm going to do a tag team match. Maybe we'll do mixed tag team, because that shouldn't be a problem. I think we pretty much booked all our rivalry too, minus like the people that aren't in a rivalry. So I'll do Matt and Tori and then 
I guess William Regal, they're gonna go back to disliking each other again, and he can have... I don't know why I keep clicking Mick Foley when I need Mickey James. And then our first match, Kelly Kelly is going to go after Michelle McCool for the Women's Championship. So there, this is a pretty good looking card in my opinion, so maybe we can get the win this time. So let's go ahead and simulate all of that. So now to start off the night, Michelle McCool defends her Women's Championship against Kelly Kelly. Matt Hardy and Tori pick up the win against Regal and Mickey. JTG, Shad, and Mysterio pick up the victory against Helms, Nitro, Ric Flair. Undertaker wins against CM Punk, and Mick Foley is still our WWE Champion. So now let's go ahead. We gotta cause hell every week. Just keep. They keep getting all the fans, which maybe I keep bringing them over there. But if I keep sending my guys over there to cause hell, maybe people will be like, hey, we gotta watch Raw. So that was a big success with Foley. Let's set up some of our guys and trophy dates. Yeah, I'm just doing complete random at this point because it's gonna slowly help everybody grow in popularity because the goal is to eventually get everybody to 100, which kind of looks weird, but it will help our show out a lot. Now for our SmackDown interference at Johnny Night Show, yeah. So that was a success, so now ECW has a pay-per-view, so that's kind of interesting. They're just a random pay-per-view in Japan, so I guess that's just one more opportunity for me to go over there and cause hell. Yeah, what the hell, we'll send Undertaker all the way over to Japan just to interfere with ECW's pay-per-view. Which that's right too, because they have a pay-per-view, they're gonna probably still not get the jump in fans because apparently SmackDown earned 400,000 fans for their pay-per-view. That's one thing I don't like about this version of the game because I think there are a lot of glitches and errors since they added the third brand into the mix. I am falling a lot and ECW ironically is now the number one show so let's see Power 25, we are officially number one, so we gotta keep Foley up there. Damn, he's- I should just book him in one more, like, either trophy date or an interference so we can hit 100 popularity. I should also, too, let's see how the ECW pay-per-view did. And they did not even book a first match. To open the show, they had Default pick up a victory against Steve, then they had a big tag team match, another kind of big tag team match, and I guess the theme of this pay-per-view was five and six man tag team with the exception of these two. They're just like, y'all are not popular enough. So yeah, I'm thinking eventually too, I'm gonna do some trades to get some of the guys I want over on Raw and all of that good stuff. But that's gonna be it for today. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope y'all have a pretty brilliant day. Bye.